Hey everyone, thank you for joining uh, me for another podcast. And this one's a little different, well, a lot different from what I have been um, uploading just because I wanted to share um, my family, which consists of myself and my uh, three children, and show you what all we were into or what we were up to for 2019. Um, my divorce from the ex narc was finalized in April of 2019, and from then on, everything was just it's been going up, up, up. And you know, my children and I, our lives are so much better. Uh, I don't have to ask him for anything or you know worry about how I'm looking and and worrying about what he's going to say. You know, we have to unfortunately split custody of our children, so it is 50-50 and we live in separate households, but our lives are so much better um, because of that. And, you know, there's no more mental abuse, no more arguing. Um, A lot of you that are new to narcissistic abuse communities, Gray Rock, is the best thing you can do. If you don't know what that is, this isn't the time or the video for me to break it all down, but uh, just live your lives. And I wanted to share this video montage that you're about to see just to show you how my, you know, my, my life was still full of happiness and joy, even though I was, you know, freshly out of a mentally abusive, physically abusive marriage to the ex-narc. So um, there were days that I was down and didn't want to do much, but you know, my children, they're always there to brighten up my day and I would push through the hard, tough days and you know, we just made the best of it. So I hope you all enjoy and I hope you all have a happy, happy new year, 2020. Let that be the year that, uh, let 2020 be the year of the narcissist drought. We want a narcissist drought. So I'm gonna get off of here and let you all watch the video and I hope it brings smiles to your faces and just know that no matter what you're going through, you can and will get through it. And if you're still in an abusive situation with a a narcissistic person, please cut it off as soon as possible. And I know it's easier said than done, but it can happen. I will uh, share more on my story on how I got out of mine. So enjoy and be blessed. Cheers to freedom. Cheers to freedom. So this is my, uh, well, one of my twins, Mia, and uh, she was gearing up for her recital, and this is when she was taking her uh, recital pictures. She's my little diva. She's uh, very outgoing, lovable, and sometimes kind of sassy in a good way. And that's her and her tap. And that was for Acro. Here, um, my children and I celebrated 4th of July early. Um, They happened to have a really awesome show a few days before the 4th of July, so. This was on uh, the actual 4th of July, and I spent it with my niece Jade, uh, just because my ex has 
uh, our children for the odd years when it comes to holidays and I have them for the even years. So my year is coming up. Happy 4th of July, everyone. I hope you all are having fun. We're about to go home and barbecue and uh, enjoy the rest of our weekend. And that was our little barbecue food or barbecued food in the backyard. So yeah, this year was full of awesome, amazing things. That's my son, Amari. He was turning eight. Um, this was his part of his birthday celebration on like a small little local cruise, mini cruise. And we had a cake and we went to Red Lobster. And when the girls had their birthday, they wanted to be Cinderella. So they got to ride in their little Cinderella carriage and dress up like princesses and that was their little cake here are my twins uh, Maya and Mia that's Maya in the water right there showing off her skills um, and there's Mia Maya's a stronger swimmer um, she's taken to it a lot faster than Mia has but Mia is catching up uh, she'll be doing just as great I'm sure with a little more um, a few more classes but got to get our son in there as well sometime maybe sometime in 2020 and this was when my parents took uh, our, my children and I on a trip to Adventureland which is an awesome amusement park a couple hours away from where we we live so that was that was awesome had a lot of fun And there they are with uh, their silly poses. And this is my son Amari, just killing it on the field. He had an awesome year, uh, made quite a few touchdowns, um, won a couple of games for his for his team, the Warriors. Um, here I was on a trip to Denver. Uh, it was my mom's birthday in October so she wanted to ride an Amtrak train uh, to Denver Colorado and had lots of fun with her and my Aunt Maddie and that was inside of Union Station and that was somewhere downtown Denver very beautiful beautiful city beautiful state here is where I took my children uh, downtown to one of the hotels. I believe this was the Double Tree. And uh, we had an awesome time, celebrated Thanksgiving with them early just because, um, again, their, their dad has them for the odd years for holidays. And I wanted to still be able to celebrate with them, even though it was a little early. So still amazing, amazing time. And this was when we were at the mall and it was a really awesome experience for the kids to see Santa and uh, they took a really awesome picture and you'll see towards the end of the video I took some other pictures um, at different times at another mall but the picture they took with Santa was awesome as well oh and so cute I love that moment such a sweet moment with Maya and Santa so this photo right here I took at a different mall at a different time. Um, they had the same the same uh, outfits on, but it was too cute just to wear once. And then this was on a different day with the girls because their ensembles are amazing. 